Hi, uh, this video is about Lebwig clusters. So, uh, cluster is a group of different data types. Uh, for example, you can add the strings, uh, boolean, numeric, and array as well. Uh, cluster is similar to a uh, record or struct in a text based programming languages like C, C. Um, it makes block diagram less cluttered. Each element has a logical order inside. I will show the demo of this one uh, the logical order and cluster can be found in front panel uh, in the modern array and matrix and cluster so let me give you the demo and it make more sense here so okay first thing uh, this is a front panel here this is a block diagram and uh, I right click on the front panel and I'm going to pin this uh, controls here so if you expand this one uh, and you can find the cluster in modern array and matrix and cluster okay so here is a cluster so I'm going to drag two cluster here okay so now so as I mentioned it can contain the boolean so let me uh, put some of the some of the boolean control inside so let's see uh, this is a numeric boolean and uh, let us me put the three toggle switch here and let me make this cluster a little bit big here I can uh, get rid of this for now. I can say okay, uh, switch one here. Okay, and let me put in the side a little bit. Okay, so that's the switch one. I can drag and drop the another boolean value here and rename it as a switch two. Okay, okay. Uh, cluster can also contain numeric value as well. So let me go in the put some numeric control here so numeric uh, one and then another numeric control number two here okay so those are the two numeric uh, you can also put some string as well so let me put the one of the string here I can put one let me put on the string here it will be two we make just a little bit big Okay, and I can also put the array inside. Okay, so if I go and uh, select the array, okay, and in array I can put another some of the digital uh, push button here, for example. Okay, and I can let's say is um, three element array. Okay, so as you can see, there are like um, boolean, numeric, string, and array as well. Okay. Now, if you go in the block diagram here, I can do is the I can create the indicator. Okay, so create indicator. So cluster, uh, the data usually uh, pass here. So here, like all the the numeric boolean uh, array and string, those are passing and they are connected to the another cluster. Okay. So now, if I go to the front panel here, don't need this one as for now. So then I can. Uh, rearrange this little bit here okay and when i if i run in a continuous mode so now if i turn the switch on the similar switch on the other side is also turning on and off uh, similar here so all this data they are passing and they are connected to the second cluster okay cluster they are usually also using the error control as well i will cover that one in a, another video so let's see if I enter the three uh, and the corresponding numeric indicator is also changing here. Another say okay, I say testing here, and then you can see the testing here as well. Uh, I can say okay, uh, clusters, and then you can see cluster here. So if I turn on this digital switch here, you can see the similar switch on the other side is ch uh, turning on as well. Okay. So now, if as I mentioned here, so this one is covered. Uh, cluster is uh, then there is another uh, thing I want to mention is the logical order inside. Okay, so if I what it means is that um, let me stop this one, and if you s select this cluster, you right click on it, and then if you say okay, uh, reorder controls in cluster. Here you can see the logical order here. So switch one has a logical order number zero. Switch two as a one, two, three, four, five, 
and 6 okay so those are the logical order you can change it but when you change it you have to change on the other side as well okay so that's what it mean by the logical order okay so this is the introduction on the cluster there are a couple functions like bundle unbundle um, uh, bundle unbundle unbundle by name as well so I will cover those in the functions under cluster okay but uh, hopefully uh, this video uh, gives some information and some basic information regarding the cluster okay uh, hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye